Consistency is a word you often hear being used in a number of scenarios in hockey. He needs to be a more consistent goal scorer. All lines need to play more consistently in the offensive zone. Goalies need to be more consistent with their play. But if it's one thing that the league is still combating, it's the lack of consistency officiating. Now I know being a referee in the NHL, or any other sport for that matter, is quite difficult. And there is a lot of pressure on them to make calls as exact as possible. And officiating has come a long way, but still not far enough. I can't think of another sport other than hockey where refs have so much power in determining the outcome of a game. Humans are not perfect and naturally they will miss penalties no matter how big their eyes are and how perceptive they are during games. It took forever, but finally changes were made, reviews implemented, coaches challenges permitted. But are these enough? Which brings me to some examples as I was bouncing around tonight from the Caps game and the Red Wings game. And it was like, here we go again with the refs. Believe it or not, this was an interference call levied against David Perron, which was laughable in my opinion. Meanwhile, Sonny Milano was taken down by Jeremy Lausanne with the puck clearly gone from Milano's stick, which these days is almost always called interference. And the ref is right there. Now, I wouldn't mind if this is never called a penalty. Just simply a D-man finishing up the forward after a play. But the NHL has shifted away from this. So it's not pretty consistent. A more egregious example of a no-call was in another Caps game late last year against the Sens when Claude Giroux clearly tripped Charlie Lindgren with the ref right in the corner. I mean, the ref is right there. And Giroux acknowledges what he did, even though he suggested it in a way that it was kind of accidental. The Sens will go on to score immediately after a poor giveaway by the Caps. Lastly, this no-call slash against Nathan McKinnon which would be fine if the same penalty wasn't called earlier to an Avalanche player for the exact same thing. Like, come on. One more missed call. This cross-check against Dimitri Orlov into the boards wasn't called a penalty. Oh, so I guess I can viciously cross-check a defenseless player who doesn't have the puck violently into the boards. I'll keep that in mind. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think a goal should be called back if there was a missed penalty that led to a goal before the whistle was blown? And hit that subscribe button.